Yeah. We gotta hit the streets. We gotta teach the people. Yeah. We gotta hit the streets. We gotta teach the people. Yeah. We gotta hit the streets. We gotta teach the people. Yeah. We gotta hit the streets. We gotta. We gotta. We gotta. How long y'all gonna sleep? How long you gonna stay sleep? How long you gonna stay sleep in the West Side Project? How long you gonna stay at the bottom of society? Read up. When will the old boys out of their sleep? He said, When will you arrive out of your seat? God is calling you. This is a spiritual warfare right now. You got people around the corner. Give me second with these ten and four. You got the white man around the corner still indoctrinating your kids with Christianity. Still teaching them that Jesus is white. Can you free hot dogs and potato chips and make it seem like, oh yeah, we love everybody? The same people that enslaved you. The same people that raped our women. The same people that just cut their stomach to all the out our women's body and gave it to uh and used it for gator bait to make gator bags. You got your enemies around the corner right now waging spiritual warfare. And a lot of y'all don't understand. It's a war for your spirit going on right now. Uh, then when you got to that land where you was going to be sold, you shall be sold unto your enemies. We were, nah, I'm free. Unto your enemies. See, that's why Dominique left, because he know what the Bible was going to say. He know that the Bible was going to say that we were sold to our enemies. And I was going to ask Dominique who sold us when we got the slave ship. Oh, see, that's wrong with the black woman is that she don't know that she was on a Chicago slave ship with us, too. You see what I'm saying? Read it again. I people, it's time for our people to wake up out here in Chattanooga. It's time for the black yes. woman to come back in her black mind. Give me, give me First Corinthians chapter eleven. Bring it up. See, she said she ain't coming on the slave ship. Will somebody wake the black woman up and tell her she was on the slave ship with us? That's right. That's how our black behind got here. See, back then though, when she got the slave ship, she was standing behind the black man. But now the white man, who the one sold her when she got off the slave ship, put her in front of the black man, gave her Section 8, gave her uh, EBT, gave her wig, gave her food stamps. Right. Now she said, I didn't come over here on the slave ship. Right. Cause she is mentally destroyed. Right. She got the yoke of iron up on her neck. She got long weed hanging off her head. Okay? And she trying to be like the white woman. But look, we're here to tell you that your hair is the greatest hair on the earth. Yeah, right. Right. You need to come back to God. And start to remember that you are a chosen person of God. That's right. Read, man. First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. What's the order? But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. Right. So we're going to have y'all know right now that the head of every black man, Hispanic, and Native Amer American man on earth is who? It's Christ. It's Jesus Christ, the black Messiah. Hey. It is time for the black woman to get back in her place because God said the head of the what? The woman. The head of the black woman is who? Is the man. Is the man. But guess what? The black man don't know how why he don't fell out of his rulership. He don't know how to take care of, uh, give me Titus. Give me Titus chapter 2. He don't know how to take care of the woman. So now she's dependent on the white man to take care of her. But we out here to wake up the mighty men of God so we can get back on top. So we can start to what? Rule our communities again. And I ain't talking about with gang banging and drug dealing neither. I'm trying to get you to be a king on this earth again. And a what? A king don't sell dope to his own people. Read again. Titus chapter 2 verse 1. Read. But speak the other things which become sound doctrine. Uh, that the aged man be that, the, that the aged man gotta be what? Be sold. So it's time for you black men to put down the loud pack, put down the gas, put down the crack, and, yes. and be sober. Say that I'm a Jew, it's how I 